Hey YouTube, today I have the Uzi brand Masada Axe, yes, and I'm going to have some throwing footage in this video too, but before that, let's go over uh, the stats of this item and get a closer look. All right now, the edge length from there to this tip right here is three inches. The overall length of the axe, meaning from the farthest point here to the, to the farthest point on the end of the handle, is 10 inches. And the weight on this is 15 and one half ounces. Now you might be wondering, why is it such a weird shape? Uh, some of you know this because some of you are probably throwers. Uh, this is primarily a recreational throwing axe, although it can be used as a little mini camp axe as well. I mean, it does have an edge and it can chop. But the reason this is shaped this way uh, basically, this angular design gives more points that it can stick to a, a wooden, right, a wooden throwing target. And the curve of that handle is very ergonomic uh, when using this as a recreational thrower. Now, it is stainless steel, has a black, probably looks like a Teflon coating to me, and it has G10 handle scales. And I can tell you, those handle scales are extremely durable. Because today was the first day that I ever tried throwing this item. Okay, so obviously when I was first getting used to it, I missed a whole bunch of times. And those scales smashed into the target. And you can see they're beat up, but there's, you know, they're not cracked or anything. So those are very durable scales. And you see it is full tang construction as well. Okay, and a little closer look at this, you have a lanyard hole here, extended tang. All right, and you see uh, the grooves for some extra grip. It's pretty styling too. All right, and there's the, uh, yeah, there's the funky head design and a back spike. And this, this part can stick too. I stuck that a couple times. Just point it there. And as you can see, yeah, this is well used, very durable, heavy duty nylon belt sheath that this comes with, three button closures and the Uzi logo, and that's belt strap right there. All right, and deployment, you know, you pull open these button closures and it comes out the bottom like so. So that's the sheath. All right, now I'm gonna roll in the throwing footage, but first of all, I wanna make clear um, I am in no way, um, I'm, I'm not really that good of a thrower. Um, I haven't practiced throwing since before winter, okay? And I've never thrown this before today, so it did take some getting used to. Yeah, I did miss a bunch of times, especially in the beginning, okay? Now, I'm going to be showing, you know, the successes. Uh, but I'm in no way trying to say that I never missed. Actually, I'll pretty much admit I missed quite often in the beginning. Uh, but the reason I'm showing you um, the successes is because that's going to help you. You know, it doesn't help you to know how not to do it. If you're trying to learn, it's going to help you to see how the technique is properly done. But I have to say, the design of this is great because... Uh, I missed a bunch when I first tried it, but within a very short amount of time, I actually started um, nailing it, you know, more often than I missed. And it's just because this design just makes it really easy, even if you're a beginner uh, thrower. So I was really shocked at how many times I did manage to stick this. All right, so let's roll in the highlight reel. And then I'll come back with final thoughts on the Uzi Masada.
All right, I hope you all like that. Now, first, I want to thank Campco. Okay, Campco actually sent me this item, and I do appreciate that. And I know my viewers that are into throwing items like this, uh, they also appreciate getting to see this because I probably uh, would not have known about this, um, you know, but they sent it to me. I tried it out and I liked it. All right, so big thanks to Campco. Now, my final thoughts on this. It, it's fun. I mean, it's addictive. If you've never tried throwing, um, it's addictive. Now, if you're a beginner, you know, this is a really good design. It makes it easy. That curve of the handle, uh, very ergonomic for throwing. Uh, like I said, today was the first day I ever tried to throw this, and I was shocked after like 20 minutes warm-up practice. I was shocked how many times I was able to stick it. It has a nice weight to it, um, 15 and a half ounces. You know, it's, a lot of these small throwing um, axes, they don't really have a lot of weight. Now all the, the angular construction, here, here, um, there, I actually accidentally stuck this uh, on the bottom spike a couple times and on the back spike. So it's very forgiving. If you're a beginner, you'll even stick it when it shouldn't have stuck if it was another um, design. Now I checked the uh, Campco site today. Campco is the, um, you know, they use the Uzi brand. They distribute the Uzi brand blades uh, in the USA as well as Humvee. I checked out their website today and the price was listed as $40. Uh, I have no idea what like the Amazon or the price in stores is going to be. Okay, as I said, this was sent to me to try out and try it I did. Alright, so I like it. My only suggestion would be that they should sell this in like three packs. You know, maybe give it a little discount, but sell it in three packs because if people are really going to throw this, you know, they might want uh, to have multiples. And now let me end this with a little bit of advice, you know, from a, a fairly novice thrower like myself. Let me show you the three things uh, that I, I've learned about throwing because a, a lot of people ask, how do I throw? How do I throw? Okay, let me give you three um, points. First of all, the release is everything in throwing. You have to have a really light, sensitive touch when you release that item. All right? Number two, don't bend your wrist. Too many people, at the end of their throw, all of a sudden, they bend their wrist too much, and the throw goes down into the dirt, or it just over rotate or it rotates too quickly so try to keep your wrist straight and number three your throw needs to be one smooth motion a lot of people they get a, a little bit angry a little bit impatient if they're missing and they strong arm it they it's not smooth you know they add try to add muscle power sometimes they try and add it right at the end okay that's not going to make um for a smooth throw. Okay, so those are my three tips that I've learned as a, a relative beginner. All right, YouTube, this has been We All Juggle Knives and we all throw them as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out.